All right, well, our next big idea is the whole idea of uh, area models. We call it products and sums. Uh, we're going to be really talking about this. This has much more to do uh, with anything else than as, as what we know dealing with quadratics. So I'm going to spell that out up here, quadratics, which are uh, form the shape of parabolas. And uh, we have the area of a product, area of a sum. And what you've been doing in class is using the idea, first of all, of algebra tiles. So if I were to give you, if you look up here for area, one x squared tile, seven x's, and six one tiles, that would be referenced down here. So we have our x squared. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We got our seven x's, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six one. So all together, what we can do is use those to form a rectangle. And what you should notice is, as we've talked about in class, is the x squared has dimensions of x and x, X's are X wide, and they're this distance right here would be one. So we have one, 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 and one. So all together, we have X six ones. That would give us here a length of X plus six. Likewise, if we went this direction here vertically, that has a width of one. So all together, we have X and one. So that means all together over here, we have x plus 1 is our width. So as you know from area, a length times width is our area. So that's why we can say, hey, area as a product would be our length times our width, and our area as a sum, where we're just adding all these things together, would be written like, like this, x squared plus, seven, plus 7x plus 6. We can also do it generically, where we have x plus 6 along the, the side over here, and x plus 1 along this side. You'll notice here, instead of an x squared tile, we just write x squared. And instead of the 6x's, we have 6x. Up here, we have 1x instead of what you see over here. And then instead of the 6 1's, we have a 6. So that would be what we call a generic rectangle, which, which works as well. So uh, what we're going to do right here, just as a little sample problem is, let's say you're given the generic rectangle like this, and you're asked to write the area as a product and as a sum. Well, a sum would be pretty easy. We'd have uh, 2x squared. And we'd say, well, we have a minus 10x. We have a plus 3x over here, so I'm going to go ahead and write that out. And then we have a minus 15. So all together, that would be 2x squared minus 7x, and then a minus 15. And then if we wanted to go ahead and write it as a product, not as a sum, we have a sum so far, we'd have to know the dimensions here, the length, and we'd have to know the width. So how do we do that? Well, what you can do is, if you look at the two here on the left, we have a 3x and a 2x squared. So you have to ask yourself, well, what do they have in common? What would multiply for both? So the only thing they have in common is an x. So I'm going to go ahead and write an x right there. And then you ask yourself, well, x times what gives me 2x squared? Well, x times 2x. And you can always double check this by working backwards. 2x times x is 2x squared. Also, x times what would give me 3x? Well, that would be a positive 3. And you can double check once again, 3 times x is 3x. And then finally, to find out this last dimension over here, well, what you would do is you already know this dimension is 2x. So you have to say, well, 2x times something gives me negative 10x. Well, that would be a negative 5. And you can double check once again, negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. And finally, the last check is negative 5 times a positive 3. Well, that's negative 15, so it works here. So if we wanted to write this as a product, we would say one of them is 2x plus 3, and then the other one would be x minus 5. So there's our product right there, our dimensions. We have a length and a width multiplied together, length and width, and then together that would be our area as a sum. So that's it.